from Indy Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. Metro Police say three teenagers are in custody following a police chase that's connected to multiple armed robberies. Police say the teens were caught Friday morning after leading police on a chase which ended when they crashed near 38th and Georgetown Road. IMPD believes the car may be connected to multiple armed robberies, one of which took place at a food truck on West 16th Street. The owner tells WRTV she was confronted by the teens just after midnight. They come point to me to the with the gun. They they put him right here on my face and they told me give me the money. Police say officers were able to use license plate readers and help from the community to track down the alleged suspects. As the election draws closer, Marion County election officials conducted a public test of voting equipment. Before the election, each machine will be tested to make sure it is working properly. If an error occurs during the test, they determine the cause and then correct the problem. Machines are not used at any election until an errorless count has been made. These tests are required by law. Voting machines are not to be handled unless a member of both political parties are present. We test 100 percent. Every every piece of equipment that goes out on Election Day uh, will be tested, it, though it's not within this test, to ensure that voters have a smooth experience on Election Day. One of the ways Indiana has taken steps to boost voter confidence is by providing paper ballot backups. Lawmakers passed a law requiring all electronic voting machines to have paper printouts by this year. For more stories and weather you need to know, download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.